Hey, it's the next day. I told you I'd give you an update on the GMC and what I did. Um, got a video probably coming on the 84 here. Been working on it here pretty much all day. Um, not major progress, but I'll get into that one later. Realize I'm almost running out of light outside, so go over the GMC really quick. So here it is. 74 um took some compound and shined up the fender a little bit it turned out all right didn't really wash it but i think that's what i'm gonna do with that or blend seed oil or something uh smells like someone's got some good stuff wood boiler or something going anywho cleaned up the inside a little bit just did some good vacuuming housekeeping junk see how bad off it was ripped the cover off of there and basically doused everything down with uh armor all try to save on what i can seats and whatnot not bad um took a couple license plates just threw them underneath here really quick just for a i don't know i took her down the road and took it just for quick spin just to see what it would do um yeah worst of it's gonna be right here it's not nearly as bad as the 84 backside cleaned up real nice these belts are just they're pretty decent um if i can do this one-handed nope oh, there we go these belts are pretty cool old school really nice shape still so i'm gonna clean up on them some and get her going cleaned up the back ripped out that mat uh found out that back here big giant thing of concrete where the spare tire goes so that's probably all rotted out a couple bolts i think that hold that on for that panel that should be a simple replacement panel to do not too bad but uh had a little leak in that back window right there headliner is non-existent it's, oh well so back seat's in pretty decent shape other than like i mentioned yesterday that rip floor is just it's all cracked but you know i'm just gonna go through and get her running better and cleaned up a little bit nicer and probably delete some of these speed holes for the winter or summer um yeah, that's really much what I did yesterday. Like I mentioned, cleaned it up, fixed some stuff. Oh, popped the hood really quick. I ended up there. We go. Plugged off some vacuum lines. Hooked up the one in the back for the distributor. Hooked up the uh, uh, air cleaner, doused it down with WD-40 just to kind of get some soak in the metal because there's a lot of, I don't know, I'm a firm believer in soaking metal down with WD-40, lubed up the hinges. It's got a high idle now, um, I think because the vacuum lines are actually hooked up right and they countered it with not having the vacuum lines properly hooked up. so kind of a high idle when it runs so i'm gonna adjust that here probably later later video but top it off with all the fluids it's a quart low in oil coolant was low but yeah so that's pretty much it just a quick little rundown on what i got going on on the gmc and what's going on surprising how shiny the impala is so, I'm going to get back to working on the 84. Stay tuned for that video. See ya.